Let's be honest, out of all the products Apple announced at their last event, the iPad mini had to take the top excitement level for most people. I know it did for me. The iPhones are great. They're just not that big of a upgrade, but this, this thing looks amazing and I cannot wait to get it open. So let's go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, this actually still has plastic. So the iPhone, does not but the ipad they kept the plastic so let's go ahead at least if you pick it up in the store now i can't wait for this one Ooh. now i did buy the starlight one so you actually get a charger and it is now USB-C, which is amazing. Paperwork, more paperwork, and two stickers, which is great, but not color-coded. That seems to be just like an iMac thing. So let's get the box out of the way. So this looks silver. Like, I don't see... Oh, it feels good. So on the iPhones, the starlight looked more yellow. And maybe there's just a hint when the light hits it, but I don't think there's... I don't think there's much of a difference at all between silver and starlight there there's a different shade this is more bluish and i think this is just more yellow but overall in, in most lightings it just looks silver which is amazing looks like it's just a little bit thicker than my ipad pro so what is the ipad mini for for me personally it is like going to be the main device to read on because the full screen is just amazing for books and then also browsing the internet while sitting, watching TV, whatever you do. This is the portable iPad. It does work with the Apple Pencil, the Gen 2 Apple Pencil. It just pops right on the side right there. And as you can see, they did move the volume buttons to the top. That leaves room because obviously with this pen right here, you're not gonna fit those. Touch ID is in here. It doesn't have Face ID like the iPad Pros, but like the iPad Air, it does have Touch ID, which is really cool. I wasn't a big fan of it on the iPad Air, but I think I will be more on this just because it's just a lot easier to reach that and not as cumbersome. So the iPad mini is hands down the favorite product that Apple announced at this latest event, like over the Apple Watch because that upgrade wasn't that much. Over the iPhone 13, those cameras are amazing, but that's pretty much all you're getting. This just looks really cool, and it's it's just something new. Like, even though it's technically old style and all that stuff, but it's a reimagine of the iPad mini, which I do have right here as well. So this is a lot shorter. So if you take a look, there's a good good amount shorter which is awesome with it's the exact same they did add a flash to this one which it didn't have before i don't even think the ipad air has a flash but if you're going to be taking pictures with an ipad this would be the one to take it with it's not as awkward as some of those massive ones that people actually take pictures with i've been to disney i've seen them do it this is gonna probably become my new favorite ipad so i can't wait to try it out i'm gonna be doing more videos after some time with it and honestly Here's what I would love to see Apple do. Rather than getting rid of the iPhone mini, let's get rid of the Pro Max. Replace it with this, and then you can have an iPhone. Like this is the perfect combo right here. The two minis together are better than any massive phone you could ever have. But what do you think about the iPad mini? Leave a comment down below, because I would like to get your guys' thoughts on this as well, and even the Apple event. If there was another product that you were more excited about, please let me know. If you guys like this content, please hit that subscribe button. I will be posting another video on this very soon, and also hit that thumbs up. It helps out the channel a ton, and I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.